Welcome to Anoki Pulse TV, where we've got this week's roundup of topics that have got you talking and the juicy deets on what's making waves in the West and the East. And to keep you entertained and informed, I'm your host, Dilshad Berman. So let's get right to it. Check out this week's movers, shakers, and buzz makers. I will be president for all Americans. As the world is still recovering from the American elections and the reality of President Donald Trump, some are wasting no time in gearing up for the next one. <laughs> Many have been calling on Michelle Obama to run in 2020 even before the ballots were cast for 2016, and now it seems comedian Chris Rock is throwing his hat into the ring with this Instagram post. But we can't forget that Kanye did it first, announcing his 2020 run during the MTV Video Music Awards last year. I have decided in 2020 to run for president. It's unclear if either of them is actually serious, but then again, if a reality TV star can do it, a comedian or a rapper don't seem that far-fetched. And there's big news from Bollywood. The first film ever to be produced under the India-Canada co-production treaty has been announced and it couldn't be a more fitting inaugural project. Salman Khan Films will be teaming up with Canada's first take entertainment on Lions of the Sea, based on a true and tragic story set in 1914 about the voyage of the Komagata Maru from India to Canada. The journey had a lasting impact on Canada's immigration policies and the production will aptly begin in 2017 as Canada celebrates its 150th anniversary. The film, co-produced by Vinay Virmani and Pauline Dillon, stars Irfan Khan along with a diverse ensemble of international talent. <laughs> Turning to Hollywood, Disney fanatics are getting excited again about a tale as old as time. Show me the girl. The much-anticipated first official trailer of the live-action version of Beauty and the Beast was released on Monday. For most fans, Emma Watson is the perfect embodiment of Belle, while the Beast, played by Dan Stevens, is getting a little less love for being almost too scary. But responses are overwhelmingly positive and Disney will most likely deliver yet another blockbuster when it releases in March 2017. Our big newsmaker this week is none other than the Toronto Real Asian Film Festival that turned the big 2-0 this year. Check out the eventful and eclectic celebrations. Over its two-decade run, the Toronto Real Asian International Film Festival has come to be considered one of the best alternative film fests for cinephiles to explore unique works by the global Asian diaspora. The 20th year milestone was a massive celebration encompassing feature films, mixed media projects and short films with many memorable moments. <laughs> Hong Kong director Derek Sang's return to the festival was an exciting highlight. Sang's film Soulmate opened this year's festival, just as his first film Lover's Discourse opened Real Asian's 15th anniversary celebrations five years ago, both on his birthday. Plus, he's a University of Toronto alumni, making it a joyful homecoming in more ways than one. If you don't mingle, you stay single. Another high point of the festival was the live panel with the creator and cast of the new Canadian TV show Kim's Convenience in collaboration with the CBC. Along with the Q&A, fans were treated to a never-before-seen unaired episode of the show considered to be breaking new ground for Asian representation on television. Sometimes gay take time. Plus, the excited audience got to rub shoulders with the cast after the screening, showing much love with many, many selfies. <laughs> Along with films, the festival also featured mixed multimedia projects this year, and the centerpiece presentation was Rites of Passage, a unique event showcasing short films accompanied by live music. The special ingredient? All five films were by Asian-Canadian female directors tackling their distinct cultural upbringings, backed by the popular indie band Obiju. The event also marked the first time Obiju has performed together since they went on hiatus in 2013. And you're probably feeling that FOMO right about now, but not to worry, there's still more left to see. You can catch Sholapur director Nagraj Manjale's film about forbidden love Seirat tonight, and Hong Kong director Chan Chi Fat's Weeds on Fire about the first Hong Kong youth baseball team tomorrow. That's all I've got for you today, so be sure to check out the closing night festivities of the Real Asian Film Festival tomorrow, and let us know your thoughts on anything else you saw on the show. Get in touch with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's it from me. Tata till next time. 
Be sure to stay in the loop with all the glamour and the drama with Anoki Pulse TV. Just click subscribe and we'll bring you in-depth access to all that's happening behind the velvet rope. And if you missed last time's episode, just click over here and get your fix.